Hello everyone, this is Dr. Jawad. In this short video, I'm going to explain the benefits of calcium and magnesium, taking them together, how much, and also to what a deficiency in vitamin D3 and K2 can, how it affects you. Okay, so calcium and magnesium. Calcium and magnesium are one of our, the essential minerals that we need for body function homeostasis. Now, we all know that calcium is good for the bones and teeth. It's also good for the muscle, how the muscles contract, how they work, the nervous system, the central nervous system, the peripheral nervous system, the autonomic nervous system. Also, too, very important in cell communication. Okay? So, if you take in too much calcium, now again, calcium and magnesium should be taken together because they work opposing each other. However, if you have too much calcium in your system, excess calcium, it leads to soft tissue calcification, okay? Heel spurs, tartar the teeth, kidney stones, hardening of the arteries, increased blood pressure, all the itises, arthritis, bursitis, tendonitis, that's all due to too much calcium in your system. Now, you may be taking just enough calcium, but the problem is not enough magnesium. They work together, okay, because we all know calcium is involved in muscle contractions, while magnesium is actually helpful in muscle relaxation. Calcium is, in, again, involved with nerve transmission, where magnesium, yes, is involved with nerve, nerve transmission, but mainly targets the heart. Okay, so if you're having decrease, if you have a deficiency of magnesium, not take enough magnesium, then this is where you get heart arrhythmias, atrial fibrillation, anything that has to do with the heart function, you're not taking in enough magnesium. Also do calcium, very important for blood clotting. Magnesium, it's a good central nervous, re nervous system relax, and this is why magnesium, if you take magnesium before bedtime, it relaxes the central nervous system, very important for sleeping. Now again, you want magnesium, most people are deficient in magnesium because they're not taking in enough leafy greens. Magnesium is high in leafy green vegetables. Now, the most important thing that, the reason why you have too much calcium in your system is not because you're taking a lot of calcium, it's because it's not being properly absorbed in your small intestines for utilization. Now, how is that done? Very important. Vitamin D3 and vitamin K2. I've done previous videos on the importance of these two vitamins on your overall health. So I advise you to go back and check those out. Now, vitamin D3, function di vitamin D3, it helps absorption of calcium and magnesium by 20X in the small intestines. Now, what happens is that when we take in calcium, we need vitamin D3, which is a fat soluble vitamin, to pull calcium into the bloodstream to be absorbed. But it doesn't stop there because we also need another vitamin called vitamin K2. Now, vitamin K1 is involved with blood clotting. So this is vitamin K2. Vitamin K2, it helps transport the calcium from the blood into the bones and teeth where it belongs. Okay, so where do you find vitamin K2? A supplement, which I always recommend, but also too in grass-fed butter and also to NATO. Okay. Now, again, vitamin D3, if, we, if you're not taking in a vitamin, enough vitamin K, uh, D3, this is, again, calcium is involved, involved with blood clotting. Oftentimes, when I talk to people who have uh, frequent nosebleeds and or females who have excessive menstruation flow, all I do is, I, again, add D, vitamin D3 into the diet and the blood clot stops. The excessive bleeding from menstruation is more controlled. Okay, now the most important way to absorb vitamin D3 and K2 because those, those are both fat soluble vitamins, you need proper stomach pH. Now I've done a previous video on this. The stomach, the acid levels in your stomach should anywhere between, between one and three. It has to be very acidic. If it's not between one and three, this means you're not breaking down the food properly once it gets to the small intestines and, those, and the food's not being properly absorbed. And this is where you get a deficiency in vitamin D3 and K2. And then this is how you're walking around with too much calcium in your system. Okay, we all know these people, their muscles are just so hard. They're complaining of heel spurs, excess tartar on the teeth, tartar's calcium. They have kidney stones, high blood pressure, hardening of the arteries. It's not a calcium thing, okay? It's a lack of absorption of vitamin D3 and K2. Why? Because their stomach pH is not low enough to break down the food's constituents for absorption. 
So how do you get that? Very easy. I've done a previous video on this. Apple cider vinegar. Wake up in the morning on an empty stomach. Take about one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Wait about 15, 20 minutes before you put food in your system. Because what you want to do, the apple cider vinegar is going to help the pH of your stomach shift more between one and three, become more acidic. So when you actually take in food products, then you're going to absorb the D3 and K2 in conjunction with calcium and magnesium, okay, and then your body is going to be a better working machine. Now, again, the common question is always, how much calcium and how much magnesium should I take, okay? Now, oftentimes, it's not that we're deficient in calcium, it's oftentimes we're deficient in magnesium because magnesium is found in leafy green vegetables, okay? And I always recommend do a one-to-one -one ratio. If you do a one-to-one -one ratio, again, the balance is going to be equal. Make sure you take in vitamin D3, K2 for absorption of the calcium and magnesium for utilization. And make sure your stomach pH is between 1 and 3. Okay? So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Please share with a friend and hit the like button down. I think it's this side or that side. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Hello, this is Dr. Juwad. Please subscribe to my channel for more up-to-date videos. And thanks for watching.